Hello Carpologists, I'm Luke and today I managed to get my hands on this wicked little setup. It consists of the Daiwa Infinity Evo MS rod along with the Daiwa Emblem BR25A reel. And what a setup it is, let's have a look. So as most of you would have noticed, the short rod craze has well and truly swept up and down the nation. And it's almost rare to have a wander around a lake these days without seeing at least a couple of sets of 10 footers. And that's exactly where these guys fit in. In case you were wondering, the MS stands for Mini Spod. They're a 10 foot spod rod with a 3.25 pound test curve. Now these are ideal for spodding and markering as well. I've actually got one for each, but obviously you can use the same rod for both. So I've actually been using this quite a bit today. Firstly, as a marker rod, I've used it to find three different spots ranging from 30 to 80 yards, and it's done that easily. I've hit them distances with no problem whatsoever. I've then baited up them same spots, and it's been hitting the 80 yard spot with no problem at all. Every single time hitting the clip, it's just not been an issue. And I've actually found it to be a lot more accurate than using a 12 foot rod at them kind of distances. Even more so on the shorter rods, when I'm 30, 40 yards out, it's been so much easier to keep accurate and and things like the spawn was opened every time without a problem, which on the 12, 13 foot rods sometimes can be an issue at the shorter distances. So as I mentioned briefly in the intro, I've actually got these rods paired up with a Daiwa Emblem BR25A reel, and that's spooled up with Daiwa's J8 braid. And this is an ideal combination for short to medium range spotting work. I've been hitting the 80 yard spot with no problem at all, and there's still potential to go further. So Daiwa actually state that on these rods, maximum casting weight is eight ounces which that's a huge amount of weight for a 3.25 pound test curve rod. And they also say that the maximum casting distance is up to 100 yards. So to cast eight ounces at 100 yards for a 3.25 pound test curve rod, that's pretty much testament to the quality of the build. And from what I've experienced today, it really doesn't surprise me. As we've come to expect with Daiwa's Infinity range, the build quality is second to none. It features a 1K carbon weave, a Fuji DPS reel seat, and a full Japanese shrink grip handle. Aesthetically, these Infinity Evo MS look just as good as they perform. Starting at the bottom, there's a nice black metal butt cap with the Daiwa logo etched into it. Coming further along, as I mentioned, you've got a shrink grip handle, and this leads up to a nice little bit of carbon weave with the Infinity branding. And this has actually got a nice gloss finish on it too. You then move up to the Fuji DPS reel seat, which has got nice black fittings, and then onto the rest of the blank, which is carbon weave throughout. The Evo MS is actually part of the Evo Mini range, which include two other 10 foot models, a 2.75 and a 3 pound test curve, and also a 7 foot 3 pound stalking rod, all of which benefit from the X45 material, and best of all, they're all UK made. So whether you've just got yourself a set of 10 footers and you want a shorter spod rod to complement your set, or you fish a smaller, more intimate venue where the shorter spod rod will come into its own, then either way, it's well worth checking out Daiwa's Infinity Evo MS. Thanks for watching. Thank you.